Obtaining a culture, gram stain, and cell count. Cultures require 25 to 30 cc's of effluent in each of the two orange centrifuge screw top tubes. Gram stain requires 20 cc's in a separate orange centrifuge screw top tube. Cell count requires three cc's in a lavender top tube. Gather your supplies. You will need your effluent sample bag, two 60 cc syringes, two to three 50 cc orange centrifuge sets, lavender top tube for cell count, two pink 18 gauge needles, the pink blood transfer device, five to six betadine swabs, mask for yourself and for the patient, three blue chuck, three two by two gauze, one four by four gauze, plastic tape, O-house scale, and two mini caps. Wash your hand for one minute. Remember to place a blue chuck next to the patient's PD catheter. Assemble your supplies in a working area to obtain your specimens. Open your effluent bag and clamp tubing with white clamp on the bag. Begin by soaking the effluent bag with two by two and betadine for three minutes. Prepare a second 2x2 two two gauze and betadine to cover the end of the mini bag line once disconnected from patient. Open 4x4 four four gauze and apply betadine cross. Open and prepare your 60 cc syringes and attach your 18 gauge needles. Now that you're all set up, you're going to prepare and do your three minute hand wash.
bring your betadine wrap close to your PD catheter. Gather your effluent bag. And your two by two with betadine. You are now going to remove the ring cap from the effluent bag with your pinky finger. Remove the mini cap from the PD catheter and attach. Make sure you don't rest the PD catheter down. Cover with your betadine gauze. Twist open your PD catheter. Unclamp the effluent sample bag and drain until full. It may initially start draining slowly. Try to tilt the sample bag down for a quicker flow. Once the bag is full, the drainage is complete into the effluent bag. Twist close the PD catheter and remember to close the white clamp. Prepare your mini cap. Detach the effluent bag and rest it on your betadine. You may now apply your mini catheter, your mini cap. You may wrap the two by two with betadine onto the open port of the effluent bag. And secure with tape. At this time, if your patient has more to be drained, use the drain bag of a full dialysate bag to drain remaining PD fluid in the abdomen and connect them now while your hands are the most clean. Use a second betadine cross and 4x4 setup when connecting the additional larger bag. Remember to apply a blue clamp to the drain line once the patient is fully empty. While the patient is emptying, Weigh the effluent sample bag on the O house scale to see how much came out. Normal weight is somewhere between 50 to 100 cc's. Utilize 60 cc syringes with the 18 gauge needle to obtain your uh, samples. Remove the betadine swab from the port. Uncap your needles. Grasp the port of the effluent sample bag and carefully insert needle into the center of the rubber on the port. Pull back on plunger and withdraw 50 cc's of fluid. Remove needle from effluent bag and cap. 
cover the port with betadine swab to soak again unless immediately obtaining a second syringe with no delays. Repeat the steps to fill second syringe. Remove the cap from the orange centrifuge twist top and inject 50 cc's divided into two centrifuge containers. If a gram stain is needed, inject 20 cc's into an additional third centrifuge. If cell count is needed, inject three cc's in the purple top tube using the blood transfer set. If patient is finished draining into the larger drain bag, we'll follow steps for disconnecting patient from a manual bag. Make sure that you wash your, change your gloves, wash your hands, for three minutes before disconnecting the patient. Of note, if the nephrologist had ordered a cell count, culture, or gram stain, and the patient had fluid previously dwelling within them, you can add a sample effluent bag onto the additional port of the drain line. You want to ensure before connecting that you clamp off your sample effluent bag and that your port is also closed off. At this point, the same policy goes for as the rest, pinky, thumb, connect. This is a shorter line, so you may want to stick this line right up here. The machine will initially try to drain the patient. So at this point, we may open up the drain line. Just make sure because this bag is so small that you don't overfill this bag. So once it's connected, you do need to be mindful when the patient is draining to continuously check back to see when it's getting full. Once this is full, you do want to clamp off this one and clamp off this one as well. You would open both of these in order to obtain the sample and clamp them both otherwise. The fluid will then divert to the two bottom bags. For additional information on collecting and obtaining cell count, culture, or gram stain, please see additional video.